we play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome back to the Freak Show. I am your host, Bumpy McSquiggums, and we are continuing today with a little bit more of Kingdoms of Amalur. Behave yourself. The reckoning of the Reverite re-reckoning. Kingdoms of Amalur re-reckoning. That is what we are doing. I think it's like calls of Amalur. It's fine. Uh, where is your alchemy thing? It's over this way, right? Yeah. Yeah. It is nice to see me. I should be seen. All right. Hello? Experiment. This screen shows all reagents in your inventory and allows you to mix them. Experiment. You can unlock new recipes. <laughs> uh-huh. And then I can create, and I know no recipes. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to be doing some experimentation. Oh, I got to mix it with something else, huh? All right. What about these two? When you've chosen reagents... Want to mix press 2 to combine them. Enter to continue. 2. Minor healing potion. There it is. It didn't explode as the steam achievement I just unlocked. Alright. Uh, what else we got? Manta. Or mana. Magic. Restoration. Leech. Random effect occur. This may... It's an unstable potion. Okay. So not really what we're looking for. Leech-like nature. Uh, health. Sense of extraction. What if we combine these two? A minor social grace potion? A potion to temporarily increase your persuasion skill can be mixed at an alchemy workbench using the following stuff. Okay. Not what I was expecting. Damage. Blood. Armor and power. What about Yeah, I didn't think that would that didn't really make any sense to me either. Alright, you know what? That's fine. We started with this. Uh I can create some more things. Here you have a list of all recipes you currently know. If you have any of the necessary, you can probably yeah, that's fine. Social grace. Alright. Well done, you crafted a potion. Uh-huh. Okay. I don't know how much or unmuch that helps me, but we did it. <sighs> we did it. We're heroes, and we're leaving. It's time to go about our mission, ladies and gentle folk. Uh, I believe we're going to be able to get two for one here. Because I believe the dude wandered off and got himself involved with something else. We still have the Fay Court, the Ballad of Summer or something that we gotta go deal with. There's a whole bunch of things going on, but you know how we do. We we handle things. What are you guys doing over here? Welcome to Gorhart. I wish I was fighting in the war. The action is in the east. No one's ever seen to author this far west. <laughs> Believe me, the attack has me spooked. I'm not even a proper warden, just a volunteer. I'll stick to jail duty. At least there, the criminals are behind locked doors. Okay. Who are you? My cousin is Herc Adward, ah. the village warden. You might have met him. Herc asked me to move to Gorhart to help him keep the peace. I've only been here a few days, and look what I'm up against. Red Legion, two author, and bodies lying in the road. I'm off to a grand start. Agreed. That's not, that's not a great start. What do you know about the House of Ballads? It's some form of fey institution, a courtly concern that idolizes warriors. Hmm. I encountered a House of Ballads knight once in the forest. He put our heroes to shame. Huh. How about this jail? Our guests aren't the wickedest breed you'll find in these forests, but they're bad enough to earn a spot in my collection. Stay clear. That's an order. Settle, settle down, lady. Calm down. All right, so... Uh-oh. What's hold on? What's going on over here? What? Why are there things here again? Didn't I clear all this out? I did. I know I, I cleared all these out. I was there when I did it. You should get out of the way of that guy. 
I'm just gonna casually pull myself to you and smack you once, twice, three times a dead bear. Alright, looks like stuff is starting to uh, return. Or something different happened that I'm unaware of. Get over here, buddy. I need, I need a little bit of personal space here, guys. That did not do a lot for me. Uh. There it is. Alright. When you're using the bigger weapons, apparently, you really have a heavy reliance on, on not dying, first off. I just realized how much damage I had taken. You do have kind of a heavy reliance on actually landing, uh, like, perfect parries in order to keep things at bay. Okay. So that was, uh, really fast things are going to be a problem for, for this weapon. I'm already seeing it. I'm already seeing it being a little bit of a struggle, but for now we're going to keep the hammer, but we will eventually maybe try the uh, greatsword again. The longsword's probably the easier thing to do. Obviously you do less damage, but you're able to attack quicker and everything else. But against larger creatures, we're able to knock them down quite frequently, and I, I was a fan of that. I've already triggered this one. Now apparently over here in status, there's uh, lore stones, and you can see how many that you've unlocked, and there's actually little rewards down here. So we've got four out of the five in Od 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 Odorath, excuse me, or Odarath, if you prefer, something along those lines. Um, we didn't find any in Yolvan, the Webwood. We got a couple of Dalantarth, but not nearly enough. So there's a few things there. We'll be able to unlock little bonuses that'll make us stronger, like permanently. So definitely something we should do, but we're going here, as this is where our mission takes us. Two of our missions, in fact, if I'm not completely wrong, which I may be. Uh, let's let's do this real quick. Let's go to our quest and the recipe for trouble. Find the apprentice, right? That's the one we're looking for. Let's check the map. I believe they're both here, so I suppose we'll find out. Or it's just the main mission here. One of those two things is true. Alright. Knock, knock. Oh, this looks lovely. Alright, there's some dude over the other side. There's something going down up in front of us. Boo. It's Karth, it is. Okay, what this are you is... doing down here? Don't you know Agna Farhold is haunted by the spirits of the Arathi? So, are you foolish or just stupid? Ah, okay. I, I now, finally just now, I placed it. It's spelled with an A, but it's the Arathi Highlands. It is World of Warcraft. It's uh, where all the, the troll people, I believe, were. Or some of the, there's like troll groups and stuff. It's over by Airy Peak in uh, northern Azeroth? Was it Azeroth? No. Lordaeron? No. You had Kalimdor and you had... Was it Azra? I don't know. It's been a while, guys and gals. Anyway, the Arathi Highlands. That's where it sounded familiar from. Not much is known about the fabled beings of Order. They abandoned this world long ago, leaving ruins such as this as a testament to their glory. I hope that by spreading tales of spirits and boogeymen, they could prevent the curious villagers from exploring too deeply. One can always hope. Indeed. Also, uh, just to be aware, guys and gals, I will probably have between 10 and 20 episodes already recorded and ready to go by the time the very first episode posts. So if you guys are commenting to our like, future episodes and stuff, I do apologize. I don't like doing this all that much as far as getting super far ahead because I like you guys to be able to you know, comment. And I'm like, hey, you know, a couple episodes ago, like maybe being two or three heads, the ideal one. But 
I want to make sure I have a bunch of this and I can keep it up consistently and keep putting it out there and so on and so forth. So that's the plan with all this. We'll see. I'm skilled in alchemy, but it has never brought me riches or respect. The only way I will ever find glory in this life is as part of the Red Legion. That's not good. They're very careful about who they allow into their ranks. And they were resistant about my membership at first. At least until I told them about Nanny. Hmm. Their discovery will fetch a high price in Rathir. You could even oh. decide this misbegotten war. Still, that is no concern of mine. I simply want to be one of the Red. What's special about her? She, like so many others in Goreheart, is prone to ignorance. She sees what she wants to see. I am her dutiful apprentice, and she is the wise mentor. Oh, the thing you, she whole created. life is a lie, she tells herself. That's right, she created the formula, and that's why. Gotcha. Oh, I see. The twisted gnome has found herself a champion. How delightful. Nanny always was a fool. So immersed in her work that she failed to see the deception before her very eyes. Well, it's deception. The Red Legion has her formula. Because I gave it to them. This guy's not good. I'm going to kill him. They are moving crates of it eastward towards the city of Rathir. Well, that's bad. They will fetch a high price. Poor Nanny. So trusting, so pathetic. Of course she can never learn of my ruse, can she? It is time. Dude, really? You, you some... Oh, oh, you have friends. Okay. to go with an archer, huh? Get over here. He's tough. Dude, I'm behind you. What are you doing? Aim higher, buddy. Boop. 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 Ah, the beautiful tricor. Alright, so I handled him. And his friends. Ooh, Prismere Lockpick? I'll take it. Uh, why? Why did my map just fill up with random stuff? Oh. Are they moving? Oh, destroy the formula. Okay. Apparently. Some seriously dark juju magumbo is going down. I'm gonna have to undo the dark juju. You guys really need to pay more attention to what's going down. Bye! Alright, so a couple crits there. I took him down. I've destroyed one of the formula crate shipment thingies. Uh, yeah, she done did do a bad thing, apparently, and now we have to... I destroyed two, randomly, even though I didn't do anything. Uh, I'm not real sure how that happened, but... What are you aiming at, man? Now I'm gonna have to open your face. Oh, good double hit here. Let me try. I seem to have hit a little bit harder. Blood for you done got smashed in the face. Tee hee. Sure, we'll take another Prismere lockpick. Why not? Anything going on over here that I should be aware of? Am I going to step on a trap? Probably. No? Just, 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 just big old wide open area with nothing in it, huh? Looks cool, though. I'm a little concerned, man. They haven't moved yet. Like, I'm worried that they're going to start, like, shipping out. We're going to have to, like, go chase them all down or something. Doesn't look like that's exactly what's gone down here. Oh. There's places to go differently. Dang it. All right. Gobble a mushroom. Let's go see what's up in this little alcove. Uh, little brownies just hanging out. 
guys eating somebody? What are you doing? That's creepy. Get over here. Well, I mean, they were eating someone. Alright, what do we got? We got another... Ooh, all sorts of good stuff. Ah, what's this? Sometimes this is too hard to believe. But you can accept the strangest fact that you were wrong. Yes, uh. but that and this endless vacuity is horrible. The Ancient Ones were here. They delivered themselves into the world. The time-worn cycle turns with ages. The seasons drift along the stream. They wait for the past. The future brings the forming storm. This is no place for a home for anyone. Okay. If you say so... Onward! For great justice. So, having played this for a few hours now, uh, going the heavier build, as I have gone here, um, it absolutely uh, is not as much fun. I mean, like, don't get me wrong. Don't take this the wrong way. But, like, I really enjoyed the uh, Fey Blade uh, attacking and fighting. Again, could be nostalgia. Could be me remembering it better than it was. But I'm not enjoying the large weapons as much. So let's say the Fey Blades were the end-all be-all. The ultimate, best, coolest, whatever. All right. So we'll say that's a 10 out of 10. This is like a seven and a half, maybe an eight out of ten. It's still pretty darn good. Like I like it, but it's not. It's not my favorite. Even the daggers had a little bit more of what I like. Like how I felt like the combat was really enjoyable in this. Uh, for whatever reason, I enjoy dodging more than blocking. And you were able to kind of move around. If I recall correctly, you had like multiple dash through attacks and things you could do with the daggers. And with the Fey Blades in general. So, yeah, this is, uh, it's different. It's definitely weightier and heavier, and you hit really hard. So, like, the battles, I don't want to say they, like, lasted, like, a lot longer, but they were just very, very different. Want to hit me with an arrow, sir? I do like the pull ability. I think that's pretty cool. The ground slam ability is pretty neat too. Like there are things that I like. It's just I did like the other combat that I experienced a bit more. Now I haven't tried magic yet, and I'm quite curious as to how that would play and how that would feel. All right, we got three of them down. Let's go ahead and pick this lock. There we go. I, I really do like the lock picking systems and stuff. They're not overly complex or super difficult, but I like the idea and concept behind them. These walls are grown, are built of stone. Lovingly, this place was crafted. You see the lights, the mystic halls of ordered reality. They are the faces of the missing, the embodied truth of the lost souls. There are so many of them, still. You can see them. They are like pathetic charades. Some with good intentions, and you can't fault them that. But the majority of them are just a hoax. Needless to say, I don't like it here. You could have stayed free and lived a comfortable life, but you couldn't settle a disquiet that haunts people like you. Huh. All right, well, I should be looking at the map a little bit more when there's a, mul a multitude of branches, because apparently they're all kind of like... Like the whole map is visible, so I can see that, you know, this is a branch, this is a branch, the dead end. And my goal is always to not go to the main area first, but to get all the branches taken care of beforehand. And unfortunately, I seem to have uh, failed to do that here. That's why we're having to backtrack. Because bad bumpy is bad. I needed to take care of this before I went on, and I did not do that. Again, I was relying a little bit too heavily on just the mini-map and guessing, and I... Just, I guess I forgot, honestly, that the map showed everything. I figured it would only show stuff as we slowly revealed it, but apparently, apparently when we enter into a place, it has all of it, which is fine. It's not a bad thing. It does make it a little bit easier to traverse and do things the proper way. Now, it's been a while since we fought anything like a troll. I don't like that again. Oh, 
All right, all right, all right, calm down. Eh. There it is. Sometimes it's gotta get a little bit of, ooh, Theodon's Cross of War. I like it. Some boiled leather leggings, take that. Buckler of Lightning Diversion, Seeker's Longsword, all sorts of stuff. All right. And, oh, we didn't have to pick that one. Spoiled Leather Hood. All right, let's take a quick peek at our inventory. Uh, primary. So let's see what the Seeker's Longsword ranked 41. That's actually impressive. And then armor. I believe the chest piece is going to be good for us. It is good, but not great, apparently. Eh. Anything else for us? Probably should have sold some of this stuff. Eh. Boiled leather leggings. Oh, we got the... The talisman is the magic shield. Okay. And the buckler is the uh, fast shield. Okay. I got it. All over it. Okay. We just got to run to the end. We'll jump out of the place. I'm actually just going to use a healing potion now. I feel like sometimes we, we seem to have... Um, like, some sort of health regen, but other times it seems like we don't, and I'm not real sure what that's all about. Could be specific armor and items and stuff that we have, or maybe some of our attacks have some sort of life, uh, steal, maybe? And we're able to leech some of that back, but I don't know. I do not know. We're just traversing the terrain like we do. It's very possible once this game goes live that I may just stream this as well as a live stream. Well, we'll eventually one day. It's still in the process of being finished. I haven't quite finished it yet. I've been doing some other random stuff. But we will finish up Neo as that was one of our live streams that we were doing. But uh, I feel like I, I really want to kind of dive in and play this. So maybe we'll play it as magic or we'll go back to the Fey Blades or something along those lines. I thought that's where my main quest brought me to. I say, I was about to jump down, but I'm like, before you jump down, if you're playing this yourselves, always look around to make sure that you don't see anything else up here that you, you might want to grab. Alright, so before we're done with the episode... Come on, map. Yeah, it looks like everything has repopulated. See, this is cool. I like this. I, I'm happy to see that stuff does repopulate. Uh, we could technically just teleport up to water, water hall down and fight from there, but I think what I'll actually do is just go up and start killing our way to it. We'll finish this all up, and it'll be great. Oh! Not what I was expecting. Well, we'll use our fate o meter here, I suppose. Come on. Hello? Did I did I just absolutely murder you guys? Oh. Okay, I guess I can't use my fate o meter on you guys. Well, that's a surprise. Eleven gold from detect hidden skill. Strange. I'm not real sure why, like, were those things even on the map? They were just there. They came to eat me out of nowhere. Very odd. We're almost out of time for the episode, too, which kind of bums me out. It always does when these episodes end. I'm like, no, I'm just getting started. And I gotta, you know, gotta cut it, but eh. It is what it is. Uh, ha, huh, there you are. Hello. The Red Legion. Get back over here. I'm not done with you yet. Now I'm done with you. Alright, let's go see who's over on the road over here. Old Boggy. Get over here, buddy. Bye! Alright, he's dead. Little, little bits of baby experience coming our way. I'll take it. Oops, did not mean to swing. Hey, 
guys. How's it going? Get over here, Scorpion Styles with the Z. Alright, eh, again, not the greatest. Alright, we got the crew doing push ups. I think we can blast through this little part of the camp, and then after this, unfortunately, we're gonna have to probably go. Ooh! Oh, and friends out, alright. More friends. Oh, we got archers behind us. Boo. Want to play with us? My, my hammer might be severely damaged, but it matters not to me. For I have defeated all of you and made you look silly. Also, I have some repair kits on me. I should remember to repair things before I leave town. Uh, we're going to continue with the extremely damaged weapon, though. And see where that takes us. Uh, you know what? We got up here pretty quickly. We're handling things. We might be able to finish this up before the end of the episode. Uh, I thought this was going to take us a little bit longer than it actually did. Which again, I'm going to say it's pretty nice. I I know there's a one or two lore stones that I've missed. And I'm sure that it's probably already been obvious of where they've actually been. But... I hath not founded them. Hello? Everybody's still dead over on the side? Alright, well, I mean... I'll take out some more of the shipments if you guys aren't going to be around to defend them. I mean, I guess I'm cool with that. Okay, cool, 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 cool. And get over here. Maybe commit to the attack. Yeah, I got my shield up. I knew. I, I, I outplayed all of you guys that time around. You're still wiggling and jiggling over there. It's a bit off-putting, but you know what? I guess I'm okay with it. Alright, we have destroyed all of the shipment crate knees that were supposed to be shipped and crated. And we're feeling pretty good with ourselves. Let's go take a quick gander on the map. There's a whole bunch of stuff to still take down. And I definitely think I'm going to take it down. I think that's going to be the play. We're going to clear out the rest of this whole map in the next episode. Return back to town and do the things that we're supposed to do from there. And see where that puts us. Hopefully in a good spot. Hopefully I find the missing lore stone that I apparently missed. And uh, yeah, everything will, uh, like I said, work out to our advantage. Oh, I'm trying to get away. Come on, boys. There it is. And down with all the brownies. No brownies for anyone. I go casually gather up all the ooh, leggings of lightning aversion. Nice. Casually gather up all that. Grab this. And I believe our episode comes to an end right here on the precipice of more battle, more combat, more destruction, more death. And who knows what else we're going to throw in there, but more. Just more. All right, folks, till the very next episode, I have been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for the support on this particular series. Again, it's one of my favorite, and I'm so happy to be able to share it with all of you. Until next time at The Freak Show, always remember, we play, we fight, we conquer.